Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new game. This is Hollow Knight. I am, you have no idea how excited I am to play this game right now. This is a Metroidvania, one of my favorite genres, and I haven't played a Metroidvania in, uh, I don't know how many months. I'm itching for a new one, and the art in this one looks absolutely gorgeous. I haven't even heard of this game until my friend Justin mentioned it to me. And I looked it up, it's like, this game looks pretty good, so I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna play it. Uh, all right. New game. Select profile. And just slider until the frames touch the edge of the screen. Look, I have a good monitor. We don't need to do this. Adjust brightness. Let's just leave it there. It looks good. Great. Setup done. Now let's play. I said let's play. Hurry up. Hurry up. In the wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you challenge... The challenge you what? Under palest watch you taught. We changed, based instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hollownist by Monomon the Teacher. I'm sorry that I completely screwed up reading that. <laughs> the cadence was a little weird. Like I'm trying to be a voice actor. I didn't say I was a good one. I don't even get work yet. I mean, not really. I get some indie stuff. I've gotten paid a couple times. There's an alien in the bottom left. One of the normal, like the the gray little gray aliens, Area Fifty One type aliens. Look at him, he's so cute! Dude, look at the architecture. The animation! Oh. I'm hype. I'm hype. Ooh, we're moving. We're moving. <laughs> and we can slice. We can cut the grass. Oh man, when you can cut the grass, you know you're in for a good time. That's just like a little extra detail that doesn't... Well, I mean, I don't know if it's actually required or not, but... <laughs> you know what I mean? If it's not required, then it's like... What is this little pit? Is this to force me to learn how to jump? So what do my other buttons do? Nothing. So I can just jump and slice right now. So I'm breaking doors because I don't care. The camera motion in this game so far is awful. Like, I could, I'm pretty sure I could program a little bit better of a dynamic camera than this. In my opinion, it could be, I don't know, it's a little too fast. Look at me saying I can do things better. Look, I, you can't kill the programmer in me, you know? I feel like there's a secret up there. Yeah, I can slice up. So now I was trying to slice up, but I wasn't hitting anything. So I do feel like there's a secret up there. If I ever get a double jump, I should come back. Can I hit start? What? Wait, okay, that does nothing. Can I hit back? Is there a map anywhere? My little sword. I'm, I'm, I'm swinging my lance like a sword. What a terrible knight you are. Well, that's a stalag... Stalagmite? Stalagtite? Which one is it? Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you among us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once you have enough, uh, once enough soul is collected, hold B to focus soul and heal. What if I don't need to heal? Get out of here, you bird. It's weird, they're, they're like, exploding into little flames. Ooh, look at those spikes down there. Well, that's me hurting myself. Hold B to focus. Okay, I don't use- I don't need to use all of them. Ooh, that thing almost fell on me. I don't need to use all of my- all of my focus. All of my soul to focus. 
I only need to use what I need to use, and then that's it. Great. Can't believe I got hit. I'll have to get used to the jumping. It's a little, like, it's a little too... It's a little too responsive. It's kind of weird. Is that a weird thing to say? Like, the responsiveness of it is throwing me off just a little bit. Like, it only jumps exactly as high as I want, but I think it's the velocity that's throwing me off. Look, stop analyzing the game and just enjoy the game right now. Come on. Come on. You're not in review mode, you're in let's play mode. I wonder if I get any air dashes or anything. What is this? I'm killing little butterfly things? Oh. I got soul hearts. That's exactly what that is. We're playing the Binding of Isaac now. Slice everything. Kill it all! Destroy it all! Oh, that's dripping water. Oh! Oh! Well, I'm down here now. We got some spikes. Got a place down here to go. Is this a secret? Was that the... You found a secret noise. Can I make this jump? I don't think I can. I think I would just barely fall short. So again, another thing we'd have to come back to once we get a double jump or something, like an air dash, maybe? Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hollownest. Let me in! This place looks a little dilapidated. I mean, heck, if I could destroy it with my stupid crappy little lance... What hope have ye? I love the art style in this. Geronimo. Say Geronimo, say, say Geronimo. Say Geronimo, say, say Geronimo. <laughs> I enjoy that song. Dirtmouth, the fading town. What a terrible name. Who names their town Dirtmouth? Look at this dude, he looks so wise. Stay a while and listen. Oh there, traveler. Uh, oh there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. He used to be there. Was a great ki used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you do seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad, and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such a great thing after all. Wow, you've got a really bleak outlook on life, old man. Um, can I sit down on the bench? Whoa! Oh, no. It killed my soul hearts. I didn't need to do that. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Zelda and Cornifer. Alright, so we will eventually get a map. That's fantastic. I love map. Oh. Didn't realize that was the well. Let's, uh, try to... I can't climb. I don't know how to climb. I don't know how to climb. Oh, still destroying things. That's good. Uh, a snail carriage. That thing is... it's donezo. Wow, um... You need to swing your lance there, Alex. That'll help. That'll help out a little bit. <clears throat> I'm hoping I get some awesome movement mechanics. Because one of my favorite things about these 2D Metroidvania games is how it makes you uh, learn new movement mechanics and how it makes you, like, evolve. Not just in your, um... I guess I could kind of do a cool kind of jump by uh, hitting below me. But not just not just evolve your character's abilities, but evolve your own personal mechanical abilities as you move around the world. Um. Hello? Hello, Mustachio Man. Are you okay? Tell me what's wrong. I'll try to fix it for you. There's nothing in this room other than this mustachio man who's crying. 
He looks like some sort of bug. Some really old... Look at his mustache. I want to help him. <laughs> so yeah, you can have a little bit of a, a little hop. Whoop. A little bit of a hop off of them. It's kind of neat. You know what? Might as well heal. No use in wasting, can I? Nice! There's that snail carriage again. So, ah, 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 ah! Careful. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Alright, we have a... Oh, no! You jerk. Alright. I got plenty of souls from all those guys, so I guess... I mean, I guess I could collect money from them by killing everything. And they respawn, so it's not like it's a limited amount of money or anything. So, I think... I don't know. I don't know. Whether or not we really need a lot of money, I'm not sure. Whether or not this is an, uh, uh, an efficient way to gather cash, I don't know. This guy's like a, a pill bug with a skull on his face or something. I have no idea where I'm going. Well, I was hoping to, like, kind of deflect him by knocking him up away from me, but no, he just goes straight through my lance like it's nothing. What a jerk! And here I thought I was trying to be all cool and slick. Actually, I was trying to be all cool and slick, he just wasn't allowing it. I can knock them back by doing this, but I guess I can't knock them up by doing the same thing upwards. Good to know! Get in those spikes. Now I can't get your money, you jerk. All right, I can knock back the flying guys, but the guys who are falling, uh, different story. That's uh, going down some more. Do I want to go down some more? Do I know how to get back up? Oh, jeez. Oh, this is the little money pile. Great. Ooh, what is this? Am I entering a mine? Ooh, it's getting- the colors are changing. Somebody mining over there? I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Oh, bury my mother pale and slight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two, and then when you're done, let's bury me too! <laughs> Do you know that one? It's one of my favorites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join in. I bet you have a b beautiful singing voice. <laughs> so what are you down here for? If you came to g get wealthy, just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's p plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in. <laughs> uh... I had a more womanly voice. That would have worked a little better. Okay, I found an... Oh! Come back. Come back. Thank you. Let's go. Let's, um, let's check down here first. What is this? A soul fountain? Why am I hurt? Alright, nothing over there. I like how the elevator automatically just goes where you are. It's kinda nice. Oh, jeez. Alright, I guess let's, um... Is it not gonna fall on its own? Does it care that I'm walking on it? Well, I guess we come back to that later. <clears throat> I guess what we're gonna have to do is fall into that, I guess, big hole that we saw earlier. And I could destroy everything, but none of these things have anything for me to have. So where I was thinking about going is down in this direction. Yeah, here we go. Geronimo! 
All right, more bugs. Oh, wait. I cannot go this way. Well, I guess what I'll try to do is go in this direction because I saw a place for me to go. I feel like I'm getting cl back close to the surface again after having dropped down quite a ways. Whoa, look at this guy. Oh. 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 Got him! Oh, jeez! Whew! Whoa! <gasps> it's the... It's, it's this... Is this the Mustachio Man's wife? Or son or something? <laughs> I caught him! Or I saved him! <gasps> oh, I think they're like collectibles, kind of, in a way. You protect... You, you gotta save all the little worms! <laughs> <laughs> that noise he made. <laughs> Why do I find that so funny and amusing? I don't know. No, oh, you got you got you got the spike on your face. I can't get up there. Look at him, he's so sad and then he sees me and he just wants to give me a big hug. Look at him. Hug me please. Please. <laughs> oh, now I feel like a jerk. I created a story for him, and now I feel bad killing him. Well, what is this building? Hope I find a map soon. Temple of the Black Egg. Go Hello there, how delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've got a strong look about you. I'm Quarrel. Have something of a... On a little, I have something of a... Wow, can I speak? I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. He's got a little sword. He's got a mask on the back of his head. This is one of the things we saw in the opening cinematic, isn't it? I feel aimless right now. I wish I had a map to start with instead of having to, like, get one later. Ah. It's just a minor complaint, I guess. But as far as complaints go, I suppose it could get a lot worse. I mean, I have... Oh, we're back at the beginning. Oh, I can, I can actually ascend now. Can I not do that before? Is, is the shop still not open? I don't want to go into the shop. The map store. What's over here? Is there anything over here? Did this just... Alright. There's a key door... A keyhole here. A stone door with a simple lock. Well, if it's a simple lock, can't I just destroy it? Or, like, pick it? If it's that simple? Come on, this guy's the hero. He should learn how to pick locks. The guys in Oblivion and Skyrim and Elder Scrolls games learn how to pick locks. Why can't you? Did I not get this before? Or did it just come back? Oh, we seem to have made a lap around this. Sweet, I can totally reach that dude. Alright, so now we have to figure out where I've been and where I haven't. I think over here is where we found the Mustachio Man? Ho ho! Ho ho! Ho ho! Ho ho! Oh, they gave me money! Thanks, old Mustachio guy. I'm trying to speak their language.
Sounds like a switch. Not a Nintendo Switch, mind you. Just a Switch Switch. Alright, let's try this direction, because, uh, apparently... Wait a minute. Inspect. The Pilgrim's Way, travelers of Hollownest, descend through the verdant wilds of and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. Great, I could totally use some truths right now. What are you? It's an aardvark! I didn't know I was gonna have to... Can I, uh... Can we play... Can we play tennis here? Let me in! So I can't play tennis with him. If I can't play tennis with him, I'm just gonna leave. I just wanted to play tennis with you, man. This is like a little hub area, I guess. Cause look at how- hey, I can open this one. Where are we going? Look at those spikes. I don't like the idea of those spikes below me. It scares me. Oh, stalactite, you can stop anytime you want. I mean, should I even attack those if I'm full on souls? I'm thinking probably not. This looks like a little wall jump area. <laughs> I don't have that ability. Unless I hit a wall and then jump. Nope, that's not it. I guess we're going to continue going down, and or actually, maybe we have to keep going down. Maybe it's like Metroid, you go as deep as you possibly can go first, and then you come all the way back up now that you have one of the most basic abilities in the game. The Morph Ball! At least, I mean, Super Metroid, but... Oh, look at this dude, Is it? it's the Cartographer dude! Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins, don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself, getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We are exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh god, yes! Hold left bumper to view a map of the current area. View a detailed map of Hollow Nest in the map pane of the inventory. Great. A map could be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Zelda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell you some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. I guess he speaks a little fast. I don't know. It's hard to come up with these voices on the spot. So we have this map now. Does it show me where I am? I know where I am, because it's got this little cartographer face at the bottom. Is that where the first boss is? Like, directly to my right? Oh, it shows me looking at the map! Oh, that's so cool. Alright, look, look. It's been enough for this first episode, so... Let's go ahead and end the episode here. I hope you're enjoying this game as much as I am. I'm so excited to be playing another Metroidvania title! It's so good. Anyway, I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.